Hello and good morning everyone. So I thought I would do a little bit of vlogging because some things are changing in the shop and I wanted to show you guys. So our new nail tech is getting ready to come in and set up and yesterday we came in and started moving things around to get ready for her. I'm so excited for her to get started. She just graduated school yesterday. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. So yeah, um, let me just flip you around here and show you a couple of the changes. So my pedicure chair used to sit kind of in the corner and come straight out this way. So we adjusted and made room for her pedicure chair. She's coming in today to scrub it all up. She found this um, second hand for a really good price. It's in really great condition. So we're both excited about that. We got some new cabinets over here. I used to have a black one. So me and her got matching white ones, which I'm also very excited about. And I pulled my polish rack down with my regular polish for um, toenails and because it was way over there. So we're going to move it over here so we can both reach it a little bit more easily. And then she has a cart to set up like this for pedicures. And then we're going to adjust the shelving in the middle here between our two chairs to um, set it up and make more room for more supply type things and kind of probably less decoration. So it'll have more pedicure supplies like those down there. So yeah, and her desk is gonna sit right here and she's bringing that in today. So I'm so super excited for her. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated and we'll just do a whole vlog situation and over the course of a couple of days. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, I also wanted to check in and let you guys know how things are going with my new um, what's a diet plan, life journey, however you wanna call it because it's a whole new lifestyle. So I'm not calling it a diet. I'm calling it a journey. <laughs> um, and last time I checked in with you guys, I think it was at like 14, 15 pounds. I've hit 40 and I'm so excited. And I've been doing this since March, the beginning of March. So I've hit 40. It is now uh, the end of April, um, April 26th. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to pop up the date here because I don't know what the date is. But next next week is June. So we got seven days left in this month. Um, six days left in this month. But yeah, I'll pop the date up. <laughs> I have no idea what day it is. But yeah, I'm 40 pounds down and I've hit my first goal, which was to hit under 300. So I've done that. And I'm so excited. I have so much more energy and I, I cannot wait to hit my next goal, which is 50. So to lose 50 pounds is my second goal. And then I have a couple more goals before I get to my final end goal to maintain. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated as I vlog and go on because I'm very excited. And yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so I've done a couple clients. My hair is getting frizzier because it's very humid out and raining today. Um, so here is the progress that we got so far. I'm still not used to where to look at the camera. So I'm looking everywhere. I, I apologize. It looks crazy. But okay. So we started putting stuff together. And we got some stuff put in her drawers to organize it. And we put together her cart for her pedicures. And we've got a heaping pile of trash and more things to organize. But we are getting there. And we had to use my cart as reference, which needs to be organized and clean because I got all my polishes sitting on it right now. But yep, that's where we're at. And she's trying to kind of organize stuff similar to how mine is organized because it functions pretty well. So she's got to get her desk in here. So she went to get that and I'm going to help her get all that set up. And then um, my husband is printing her out a marble top for her table. She's got a glass piece just like mine. So we're going to print out a marble sticker for her table. So it looks like mine. And then we'll have like pretty much matching stations. It's going to look so cute. She's so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to ask her and see if she wants to be on camera or not. <laughs> She'll probably say no. And then, yeah, maybe we'll introduce you guys. Okay. To her, so, so we are in the middle of setting things up and I'm sweating like crazy. So just ignore how I look. Uh, so Amanda is our new nail tech and she only be on camera today, but, but here is her station. She is currently organizing all of her Madam Glams and then putting them up on the rack. Oh, oh, I saw you in there just uh -oh. a smidge. 
she she wants she wants to put her makeup on and stuff first before she's properly introduced to you guys. But um, Jen, if you think my accent is thick, Amanda, say hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, somebody's got a thick accent, way worse than mine. Jen says she loves my accent, so. So we are still getting things set up. Ours are being replumbed. So that is going on right now and it's a big mess, but once it's all done and set up, I will show you guys. It's gonna look so good, I cannot wait. So I will check back in with you probably tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Ginger. So it is the next day and I'm gonna show you our progress and you can say hi to our nail tech. Are you ready? No, not yet. <laughs> So we just stopped over to, we have a new smoothie place in town. It's called World and it's really good. So I have a beet smoothie and what was yours? Um, it has, it's green. Super, it's like a super, super boost green, green, super boost green one. They're really good. So if I have red teeth or a red tongue, that's why. Cause it's a beet smoothie and it's really, really good and healthy. So here's our new name. Hey, hi. hi. So her uh, thing is Nail Revival by Amanda B. And I will link her Instagram and everything. You guys go give her a follow so you can check out all her nail art and stuff. But that's her little station all set up. It looks so cute. And she's got her polish rack on the wall and that's the start of her Madam Glam. So you have like what, almost 100 now? Uh, I have about 100,000 less than you. <laughs> so she's got almost 100 Madam Glams. <laughs> And here's her cute little pedicure chair. It's all set up and ready to go. So we put our little cart right here with like some of our overflow items to hide all the plumbing until we can get something different figured out with that because it looks a little bad. But with that sitting there, no one can see it. But she's all set up. We're going to share this shelf for all of our pedicure supplies. And she's got her little pedicure cart set up and ready to go. And we got our regular polish for toes. And we've got more of these coming from Premier Nail Source. So those are the C&D Vinyl Lux. I love these for regular polish for toenails. They're amazing, they dry fast, they last forever, so. Also yesterday in the mail came a little package. So I'm gonna open that for you guys. <clears throat> From Flora Nail Shop, how exciting. So I'm gonna flip you around, put you on my camera stand and show you my package. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I know I ordered some more Coco and Claire's and I'm gonna do a full swatch video of all the Coco and Claire's I've got so far. And I have a swatch video, I don't know if it'll be out before this one or after, but I have a swatch video going up of some Melody Susie's and I had a sticker stuck to my glass, oh no. I'll have to get that off later. Look at her cute little tape, it's got her logo on it. So as always, packaged beautifully. Thank you so much to Leah. You guys go check out Flora Nail Shop. And she always writes a cute little hand note, says Ginger, thank you so much for all of your support. I very much appreciate the video you shared of Flora. And of course, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have this one on here. And then I'm gonna do a full swatch video of the Coco and Claire polishes, because I've got some more of those in here as well. So, we got our nail art confetti because if you guys go to Flora, you have to get a scoop of nail art confetti. It's the most fun thing. So she's got this big tub of just random goodies and she takes a huge scoop of it and puts it in a bag and calls it nail art confetti. And it's the, seriously the cutest thing ever. This is so much fun to open up because it's just a bunch of random fun stuff. So we'll open that in a second. But here are all of the Coco and Claire's. I'm gonna open those as well and show you. Oh, and I got Oh, look at how cute this is. Let me open this one real quick first. So I have a little stir stick like this and I only have one and I really wanted another one. It's from C&D and I got it forever ago when I ordered some pigment powders on Amazon. So it just says C&D on it right there. It's got like a little scoop on the end. So Flora has these in a couple colors, I believe. I got the clear one. And it's got a little crystal on the end and a little stir on the bottom, which is perfect for stirring your gel polishes because sometimes you need to do that. And she also includes with that these little sticky tabs uh, because these are great for picking up like press-ons, which is what she uses them for. So cool. And look at this cute little silk bag. Love that. Okay, so I got all of the Coco and Claire's opened up 
and Miss Nail Revival, you're gonna have to come up here and look at these because they are so stunning, you guys. You're gonna have to go check out the swatch video. I cannot wait to swatch these. So along with the colors, I also picked up a mat, and I'm gonna do a battle of the mats because I have probably five, four or five different matte top coats now, and I'm going to battle them all out, and we're gonna see which one I like the best, and I'll give you my opinions on them and why I like them. Look at these colors. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Aren't Look they so glitters. I know. This one right here is super pretty. Isn't that the brand that you have on put on my nails? Yeah, you are wearing a Coco and Claire right now. She's got this one on right here. Sexy beep bread. Do do. Right there. Isn't that pretty? Her top coat's a little uh, worse for wear because she's been moving into the salon, so everything <laughs> is a little. But look at how pretty. These are Gel X, and I love this red. You guys yeah. need this in your life. I have so many compliments on it. I bet. So I also blue. picked up. Oh, I know. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to swatch these. This one is a cat eye as well. <gasps> so it's got like a little kitty cat. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> And I like they all have names because I love when polishes mm -hmm. have names. And they also have a number, too. So I think that's how they keep them sorted by collection. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, what well, this one is Shake or Spike the Punch. That's the cat eye one. Really cool. And I think it's a reflective, like a diamond reflective. Mm -hmm. Then we have Beat the Heat, which is this purple one. Oh, God, it's mm -hmm. so beautiful. This red, goldy kind of oof, mauled wine. Mm -hmm. Very appropriate. This blue one, which is Rock the Boat. Look at this one. Oh, my clients are going to go crazy yeah. over this. It's called Bless. And then the matte. And then this blue one, which is called mm -hmm. Blueberry Breeze. I saw Talia do this on one of her stories. And I knew I had to have this mm -hmm. blue because it's just summer blue. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. So that's the Coco and Claire's. And then I also picked up one of the Onyx Nail Pro cuticle oils. This one is Raspberry Bliss, and I really picked it up because of the, the smell. I can't wait to smell this, so I'm gonna pop it open right away. I just stuck my nose all up in it. Ooh, that's nice. It's like, it's raspberry, but it's also kind of florally. You wanna mm. smell that? It's. It's not super, super it's overpowering. Oh, I like that. It's it like always, a. It reminds me of rose petals. Yeah, it's like a raspberry a floral. Petals. I like that. Okay, and then I also grabbed one of these because I had to be bougie. <laughs> I'm <gonna> be bougie. <laughs> so oh it's a it's a brush holder, but it's also a crown because I'm a princess. So <laughs> when you have your like gel brush sitting out. Stop! That is the cutest thing. Isn't it so pretty? They have these in, I think, three different colors. I think silver, rose gold, and gold, maybe. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I know they have a couple that. of colors of these. Look at how pretty. I love this. I've always wanted one of those. And you can put a couple brushes on here at a time. Mm -hmm. So when you're working on, like, nail art and you got your brushes out, that way they don't roll around on your table. Mm -hmm. My thing is I always end up sticking my arm in them. So. Oh, yeah. There's that, and I got one of these to try out. So this is those um, caviar beads or bullion beads, some people call them, and they're absolutely perfect for surrounding like your crystals, your Swarovskis and stuff, mm. and it really finishes off the look and makes it look like jewelry. These things are such a little pain because they go everywhere, but this little pin here dispenses them like one at a time so you can like dispense it onto the nail so I'm gonna try it out I've never had one of these oh that is so cool and it just shoots one out so you click the little button and and one comes out there it goes boop oh and they're nice. so teeny teeny tiny that is really cool mm -hmm. I like that a lot so you don't have bullion beads or, or you know your little caviar beads just rolling around everywhere so that's all of that, and I'm gonna show you what is in the nail art confetti bag, because that's the best part. Look at how fun this is. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump it, because that's more fun. Look at all the little bits and things. I love oh. these, these are so fun. Are those for you to use? Yeah, you can totally use these. 
Okay, we're gonna go everywhere. I love the idea. Is it a surprise? It comes yeah, because it's like, oh, she has this big bucket of just random nail art stuff and she takes a big scooper of it. So you get a scoop for like $5. Of and you don't confetti, have any idea what's gonna be in it. And you have no idea what's gonna be in it. So you I just say, I want that. a scoop of confetti and they scoop it up and put it in a bag I for I love you. getting stuff as a surprise. Yes, oh, look at the foil. Mm -hmm. It's, look at, look, look, look at the cheetah leopard foil. <gasps> That's so pretty. That's gorgeous. That is cool. Glitter Mix Canada, another company that is absolutely fantastic. I love Glitter Mix Canada. They have some of the prettiest glitter mixes I've mm. ever seen. We got a little nail brush. You always need a nail brush. And look at all of this, like, confetti. Look at this. So there's, like, uh, little bits of Fimo in here. We got some pearls, uh, little uh, rhinestones in here. Uh, there's, like, little feathers, leaves little berries, all kinds of Fimo pieces, and some of That's the like so cool. paper glitter stuff, which is really cool too. <laughs> That's so neat. Oh, look at the little bows. They got a little bow. And look at these little pearl mm. things. I have some clients who love, 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 love 3D stuff. So she's gonna like want to dig through all of this. And we look at this rose. We got a big old rose. So cool. And then we've got some chrome here. It looks like a bronzy gold chrome. Some more of the devil stuck its uh, face in my nail art confetti, which is striping tape. <laughs> it's, we have a love-hate relationship, the striping tape. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's a pain to work with. You'll find that out soon there, Amanda. <laughs> I tried to use it once in school when I was like, oh, this isn't fun at all. No. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is like a holographic gold, very pretty. And we got a couple chunky glitters here. We got a purple and a blue. And I have these exact colors in a fine glitter. So it's nice to have a little bit of a thicker, chunkier glitter to go along with it. So that is it, guys. Go check out Flora. And yeah. And then check out my um, swatch video of the Coco and Claire's. I'm going to swatch all the Coco and Claire's I have. And then keep an eye out for a Battle of the Mats video. Also, I just wanted to mention real quick that if you want to go check out Flora Nail Shop, you can use code GINGER to save 10% on everything except for the confetti. So go check out Flora, use my code GINGER, and save some money. Okay, so I am trying to make room on my polish rack so you guys know that this is a huge mess. So I'm completely out of room on my racks, <laughs> pretty much. So I got these shelves up top. I just filled up this entire shelf on the bottom. I still need to reorganize this because as I get collections in, I've just kind of been throwing them up there and I need to incorporate like the blues with the blues and all of that. But I'm making room down here for my Coco and Claire's. That's gonna be my Coco and Claire shelf. I don't plan on getting a ton of them, but I am really liking the polish. Um, these right here are another company that me and the new Nail Tech Amanda are trying out. This is called Sugar and Cream. And I'm also going to do a swatch video on these. They're like all bright neon, absolutely gorgeous. And we are getting a matte top coat in this one as well. And that will be in the Battle of the Mats video. So that'll be a separate video. So look for that. I'm going to do a swatch video for the Sugar and Cream. And then a swatch video for the Coco and Claire. Good morning. So I'm not really sure where we left off. Um, but it's like day 7,052. <laughs> Um, of setup and we're done except we're missing one thing it's a towel warmer and it's coming it's coming from Amazon and we're gonna put it right down there so this is our little pedicure station um, we're gonna move the lights and stuff and that's where the towel warmer is gonna be and then there is all of her stuff and then there is like stuff on that side is hers, that side is mine, the stuff in the middle is shared, and then the top is mine. And then the little decorations on top, so it looks really cute. Um, I probably won't be doing a big um, decoration thing anymore for this, like I normally do seasonally, like I do it for Halloween and stuff, so it'll probably just stay a pedicure station. Um, and there's a sign back there that's gonna be hung up, and then we've got signs coming to be hung up behind the chair. And then we're gonna put our price menu up here and another sign, really, really cute little pedicure signs that my husband's gonna custom print for me. <laughs> and then this is our polish rack for toenails. Of course we do do gel on toenails as well if requested, um, but I always suggest to my clients to do a regular polish because it's just a little bit better if you're gonna get 
pedicures on the regular. So it's easier to take off. And honestly, regular polish on toenails does not chip hardly at all. It lasts really, really good. And it's just, it's better on your toes than to have to like drill off the gel every single time. So they're not completely organized yet, but good morning. <laughs> Someone's honking outside, but we've got three full rows and then a little bit more. And then these are just some other random ones, some OPIs, um, some glittery ones, and then just some other random ones. This one guy lean gave me and I love it. It's so pretty. It is from Sparkle and Co. Very pretty, but I do highly recommend these Vinylex by C&D. They are some of the best polishes ever. They've got a nice thin consistency, so they're very easy to polish with, but they dry really fast and the brush on these are fantastic. So I do highly recommend those. So she's got her pedicure cart here and there's mine. So we can just pull them where we need them and we'll probably just keep our chairs tucked away there, but that is it. I'll give you the wide shot here. It looks so nice. I can't wait to get the signs up. So that's my cabinet. That's her cabinet. So they're side by side. And then this is all of her stuff. Doesn't it look so good? That's her uh, name. So if you want to follow her on Insta, it's Nail Revival by Amanda B. Go give her a follow and you can keep up with all of her good stuff. Here's some of the nail art she's done. She's like, she's going to be absolutely incredible. So she's doing so so good that's her little desk set up it looks so cute she's got all her stuff there for board prep so she's going to take her boards here in just a few days and then she'll have her license and be good to go so she's still practicing for that so i think that's pretty much it guys um i hope you enjoyed the vlog um we are su we're supposed to go to columbus but we didn't get a chance to go so we, if we do end up going, I will definitely let you know. I still want to, I still want to redo this and put different shelves or cabinets and stuff back here. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that yet, but I do want to completely redo this whole thing. I'm going to be sad <laughs> when I get rid of this because all my stickers are on it. And I just, I love all these nail stickers so much. They're so cool. But yeah, say lovey. <laughs> So, yep, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll try to do more vlogs again in the future. Bye.